Layers are the heart and soul of Photoshop. You can have as few of layers as you need, or as many as you need, depending on how much you are editing your image. But it's always a great idea to be organized and label your layers. So, we just opened an image in Photoshop. Well, what's the first thing we need to do? Really, we need to have a layer, not a background, that is locked. So I'm going to double-click that text. I'm going to rename this Cavs logo and hit OK. Notice our lock goes away, and now we have a layer that we can work with. Well, what if I want to duplicate this layer? I can hit Command-J, and that will duplicate that layer. So now I have two copies of that layer. What's another way you could duplicate a layer? I could simply right-click and go to Duplicate Layer. I also have the option to delete that layer. So let's duplicate it. We'll hit OK. And now that I have three copies of the exact same layer, I want to delete the two that I don't need. So I can click and highlight, I can drag that to the trash can, and I can do the same for the next layer as well. Well, what if I want to create a blank new layer? Directly to the left of the trash can is a folded piece of paper. That is the Create a New Layer button. I can click that once, it will create a new layer. I could click it as many times as I need, depending on how many layers I need. Well, let's get rid of all but one new layer. So I'll click Layer 7. This time I'll hold Shift. I'll click Layer 2. Then I can drag all of them to the trash can. Let's relabel this one to say Solid Color. So I double click. I'll write Solid Color. And now we can add some solid color to this layer. So right now this layer is blank. I'm going to hide the Cavs logo by clicking on this eyeball. Notice the eyeball is visible, that means the layer is visible. If I click it, the eyeball disappears, and whatever is on that layer disappears. The solid color layer has nothing on it, so we see this nice checkerboard. That means that layer is currently empty. So I could turn the visibility off. Nothing's going to change, though, because nothing else is visible. So let's add some solid color to this layer. I'll go to the paint bucket, and I'm just going to click because I want some solid color. Now notice the visibility is on, I see the solid color, click visibility, it has disappeared. So I'm going to turn both of my layers on. So the Cavs logo is underneath the solid color. Well, I can always pull the solid color layer below the Cavs logo layer. So now the Cavs layer is on top. Well, I could hide it, I could see what's going on. Or I can work on the opacity. So the opacity of the Cavs logo is at 100%. I can click this arrow and drag the slider, and the lower the opacity, the more transparent that layer becomes. So let's set it to 65. Now, what if we want to work on the solid color layer? Well, it's one thing that it's visible, but we need to make sure we're editing that layer, so we have to click that layer, make sure it's highlighted. Now we can work on that layer. So there's two things you really need to remember. One, you need the visibility to be on, and two, you need to actually click and select that layer, and once it is highlighted, then you can edit it.